seriously gone. Oh my gosh, that sucks. It's okay, it's okay. Can you show me your face? Good job. Yep, that's about right. <laughs> pretty nasty storm and it was pretty nasty wasn't it? It was surprising. Yeah it was. We were it felt out. like it came out of nowhere. It did come out of nowhere. Yep it's storm season around here and we got some storminess coming in right this second. Holy manole. So we got the blue skies over there and then this bad boy. got tornado warnings going on right now. This thing is, this thing is gonna hit hard. Wow. This is low too. Wow. Wow. So I get the car in. No, you didn't get the car in. You almost got the car in. And then you were like hitting the tomato cage. The to tomato oh cages. And I'm like, stop! <laughs> Yeah, so, and at that point, that's when, like, things really started to pick up. So, I'm pinned in the garage because there's, like, this much space between my table and my door. So, I had to jump through the passenger side, and then all of a sudden, as soon as I get through, it's like this, just this wind just comes blowing through the garage. Well, our, I was reaction came like because of our, our reaction came because we were not ready for it, like, at all. We thought that we might get some wind, and then all of a sudden, I hear it start to hail, so then I open the door... And it's like getting bigger, and then all of a sudden the wind picks up and it just goes nuts. And she's like, "Hi!" And I'm like, ah, <laughs> "Yes." Bro, oh my God, shut the door! Hurry! I'm right! Oh, no! <laughs> yes, we handle stressful situations well. In moments of like high intensity, that Scott voice comes out. <laughs> <laughs> We thought that there was some hail coming, and Scott literally got the car in the garage oh, seconds I before. So, yeah, so I get the car in, and we're like, I'm, I got hit by hail in my legs. I have like welts on my legs. They were small hail. Well, they were like, yeah, they were like quarter size. Yeah, probably. they were not. They weren't as big as the stuff up north. That was that be great. We were grateful for that. Yeah, you boom, got, boom, I mean, boom, it just, boom. I didn't expect it to happen, and then it just started the hail, like, as you were coming in, and I was like, wait, what? Yeah, yeah are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm fine. And, um, I'm getting all dried off, and Camber's just like, oh no. Oh no. Where is it? It's gone. What? <laughs> Look out back, and the tramp is gone. And then uh, we all looked out, like, we all looked outside and the trampoline was gone. I started crying. Yeah, she bawled. Oh my gosh, that sucks. Where is it? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I don't. It's okay. Hey, 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 hey. It's okay, sweetheart. It's okay. We lost the tramp. Oh dear. Guys, I'm so sorry. Oh dear. It's not your fault. No, it's not. I don't know if it would have even mattered if it was staked down. It's okay, but you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh. I felt so bad for yeah. not staking. I don't think it would have mattered. Either way, you know, but you, you never know. Yeah, it's true. I had no idea. We never got happen. to test our stakes against the driving force wind. No. Darn it. I just worried it hurt somebody's house. Is it out? Hold on. Just He'll be okay. I really don't know where it went. When it stopped hailing, Dad went outside and he saw the trampoline. It was pretty beat up, but it was on its. Uh, it was right side up. You find it? I think so. Does it look? Does it look ripped? Uh, 
it's totally bent on the top, but uh -oh. it's upright. It is up, good. Upright in their yard. Two houses down. They're like, somebody got a new tramp. Yeah. Well, do you want to run over there? Can you please, Daddy? I can go with them. Uh, let me wait a couple more minutes. Okay. That way, figure out. How to, I don't know how to get it back. In uh, two houses down. So we uh, we uh, actually, uh, when the hail stopped, our neighbors actually came over and said that, asked if we lost a trampoline, and we said yes. Did you get our tramp? Yeah, in our backyard, yeah. <laughs> so later, uh, few, like, about 20 minutes later, we, no, about 10 minutes later, we went out and well, got our trampoline that? back. The top looks pretty bent up. Is, yeah. the, yeah. is the base of it? I think that's really the only damage. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think it did one flip on its back and then just upright it in your yard. Just flopped. It's sitting completely upright. <laughs> and so then the storm dies down and we're kind of like, let's go, let's go outside and make see, sure you know, okay. yeah, make sure everything's okay and see some of the damage that had gone on. Mm -hmm. and, and things were like mangled. There was a trampoline behind us that was that was just like in a ball. <laughs> and like there were bars everywhere on the floor. <sighs> so freaky. That was crazy. I'm so glad our trampoline. But that's what I expected ours to look like. Yeah, me too. Because I'd seen, the only time I'd ever seen trampolines that had been blown away, they were like this mangled piece of yeah. metal. Yeah, that one was just folded. It was yeah, like folded it was in. It was weird. So sad. And then there were trees down on our yeah. street. Big and, trees. Um, and the gutter was just overflowing into the middle of the street. And then there were like, there was like a flower, just like a, oh, like a right pretty flower, flower, just like sitting on the street. It was really She found that interesting. And whenever we were outside, I saw like a beautiful pink flower lying on the floor from one of our neighbor's bushes. And I got to keep it, but it died. As soon as they realized the tramp was okay, like salvageable, they were fine. <laughs> yeah. About 20 minutes later, we, no, about 10 minutes later, we went out and well, got our trampoline that? back, but all the rain was um, done. And all the, all, a lot of our neighbors helped us bring it back in. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's like a teepee. I don't know, but. Yeah, we had to like lift it over the gate. It was so cool. And a few neighbors are watching. Thank you for helping us get it back. What about Grandma Grandpa's place? <gasps> they got nailed. There's the tornado siren. Grandma and Grandpa got nailed with this size hail. And it went through their roofs and they've got to repair it. <laughs> and bad. And one of them broke one of their windows. Yeah. Which window was it? One upstairs? Dining room. I so like see. it totally banged up our house and, and since they were selling it, they had to take it off the market. We had a lot of friends up like 10, 15 minutes north of us that just got their houses. Yeah, her, her parents' trashed. house just got, I mean, it got trashed. Every roof on their property was completely damaged and it's going to have to be mm -hmm. replaced. They had holes, they had hail 
Great this fruit big? size. Yeah, great. Like we'll show, this, we have like a picture. This big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got some video. Uh huh. They had hail this big, that went straight in through the roof of their house. Not even like just bouncing off. It went right through the shingles, right through the wood, and into their attic, and melted there. I went and helped put some tarp on their roof so that way uh, they could be protected until they got the insurance come out and redo the entire roof. But they had really bad devastation. Yeah. Friends that were close to them had like entire sides of windows, like their whole side of their house, every window just yeah. like sh blew up. Blew in. Yeah. And the fences were mangled and cars were destroyed. It was really it's crazy. You can't hide from hail that big. No, it's almost you know, it's it's almost as devastating as a tornado yeah, in these Because you can't situations. you can't hide from it. You can't yeah. do anything about it. Yeah. You know, I think one of the coolest things that comes out of these types of situations is to see how many people are willing to help you. And how many people are willing to step up and uh, serve. yeah and serve mm -hmm. when it's needed? Yeah. And I mean, we we realized that from the trampoline, we had an opportunity to go participate that, and mm -hmm. you know, and uh, ever at her parents' yes. house, and, and it's um, you know, it's really cool. Even though it was this like devastating thing, it was cool to be able to to see some of that in the aftermath. We're just going to go ahead and err on the side of caution every time yeah. and sit in our house with helmets on. Yeah. Everybody's okay. We're okay. We have decided though as part of our emergency preparation we'll probably invest in some tarps because the tarps within minutes were gone from the stores. Because every house in that city mm -hmm. has tarps on it. My warning would be... Get prepared! There's gonna be a big storm coming soon. Now get prepared! Get your emergency backpack! Get your helmet! Go into your safe spot! What do you think is a good safe spot? Bathtub or near a toilet. Anything else, dear father? <laughs> Please say no. You Please wanna get out of here? No. I wanna watch Survivor. It's like the Costco of home goods. That's yeah. what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's really awesome. It's great. Oh, goodness. So let me let me give you an idea of what they've got there. They've got pillows, they've got lamps, they've got lamp shades, they've got statues, they've got chairs, they've got mirrors, they've got fountains, they've got tables, they have like everything. Yeah, that's... not just everything, but like they have aisle after aisle after aisle of pillows.